In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can create budgets for your events and track all of your expenses as well as your income or revenues. So we're going to go into one of our events. Inside of the event dashboard, you can go to the budget tool. It's gonna to show you some basic, basic stats here like what you've paid and what's still due. If I click on that item, um, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you create a budget is create a target targeted budget amount. Everything is gonna be based on this. So um, all of the totals that are above here are based on all of the line items that we've input down below. Um, and it's gonna give you totals up here like for your estimated expenses and estimated income, as well as it's gonna show you um, where you are based on your target budget with those items too. Um, it'll also show you a total paid to date and your total balance due on all of the line items. Now you can see I have created a bunch of line items already, but I haven't put them into categories. If you just create random items, it's just gonna, they're gonna be categorized under budget items, but I'm gonna create a category right here called food and beverage, and we're going to place some items in that. So it's gonna create a new table for me that's called food and beverage. Um, I'm gonna click on the check boxes next to a few of my items to move those to that new category that I just created called food and beverage. And now those line items are gonna appear into that category with subtotals for that category. I'm gonna add a couple more categories, one, one called audiovisual and another called revenues. Um, and here those are all broken out. And you can see I have not assigned two line items to categories, but everything else I have. And that's how the budget's gonna look when you start assigning things to categories. Next thing we're gonna look at is setting up budgeting groups. This is where you can set up groups so you can create line items that are based on head count or item count. So you can add a group name, estimated head count, and actual. I've set some up for attendees and volunteers here. You can edit and delete them there. I'm gonna add, now add a new line item called plated dinner. And here's where you can designate whether it's an expense or an income line item, select a category. Um, we've got estimated, negotiated, and actual. For estimated, you can base this again on a budgeting group, which would be by headcount. Um, you can base it on a fixed amount, so just enter in a fixed dollar amount here, or you can type in a percentage of the target budget right here. For the negotiated, and this would typically be what you negotiate with your vendor, you can base this again on budgeting group, so on headcount or also on fixed amounts. And for the actual, you can again set it based on budgeting group or on fixed amount. We're just gonna add a fixed amount there. Once we hit save, all that information has been saved into our new line item, which is right here. And to make edits to any of these items, you just click on the number and easily make your edits. So anything that's clickable, you can make your edits there. Um, if you go to the Actions button, you can edit the line item, delete it, or update the category. You can also add payment due dates, payments. You can attach vendors or assign line item managers or add a note. Um, you can also do these things by clicking on the View Details link. And here are all those items here. So let's add a payment real quick. Click on the Add Payment button. Here's our payment due date, the amounts and reference, which could be a check number or a memo or anything like that. And once we hit save, that payment will be added to the line item. You can edit or delete it there. And uh, let's now add a due date. So if you want to remind you or one of your team members of making a payment to a vendor, you can add that here by adding a uh, descriptor, the amount due, the payment due date, uh, the person who is responsible for payments and the vendor to be paid. You can also set a payment reminder um, as well as a note or message. Um, once all that information has been set up, um, here is that item here. You can click on this to edit it, mark it as paid or delete it. We're gonna mark it as paid. Um, so once we've uh, edited that information, now that due date has been added as an actual payment. It's gonna be reflected in the paid to date and balance due of that line item. Now we're going to attach a vendor to the line item. Um, these are people who have already been added to our vendor list inside of our event, but uh, you can add a new one there. Um, you can also assign line item managers. And again, these are people who have been assigned to the event, but you can add a new one there if you wish. And finally, you can add a note to the budget line item right here. 
And I'm just going to add a quick note and you can also format the note using the formatting tools at the top. And we will just make these bullets and then save it. And so here is where you can manage all the details for your item. Um, you can also close this by clicking on the view T -T details uh, link up here. And the more of these items you add um, for each item, those icons will appear so that you know what's been added. You can use the up down arrow to move items and you can also use the check boxes here um, to manage multiple items. Say you want to move multiple items to a category, you can do that with the check boxes. You can also remove them from a category. You can attach one or more vendors to um, a, line, a batch of line items. You can assign line item managers in bulk and you can delete items in bulk. So the checkbox tool is your friend. Um, now we're going to take a look at um, importing and exporting options. So we have the ability where you can create budget pre-built budget templates inside of the templates area of your account. Um, if we go over here to templates, go to the budget templates area. Um, here's a template we've been working on. You can create categories. You can then add line items um, here and assign them to a category. You can make an expense or an income line item. And you can tell the system either to make this a percentage of the target budget or a fixed amount so that when you import these items into a budget, it will calculate either based on the target budget that you had added initially or the fixed amount. Additionally, you can import um, a budget from a CSV file. So if you've already built out a budget um, in Excel or Google Sheets, you can import that here um, so that you can import all that information into your bu the budget tool here. You can also copy line items from a proposal if you wish, and you can download a PDF of the budget as well as a CSV or save this particular budget as a template to use again. Um, so we're going to download it as a PDF just to show you real quick what this looks like. And I'm going to open this up in Adobe Acrobat. And it will display a landscape. And this particular PDF, it will show with all of the categories intact. So that is, those are the basics on how you can use our uh, budget tool to manage budget for your events. But do let us know if you have additional questions.